Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your October 2018 general reading. I want to say happy Halloween if you celebrate. I've gone and pulled the cards for you already. It's a 10 card Celtic spread. Let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, I have a six of air. This talks about movement, uh, mental, uh, mentally moving to a, a, a peaceful state. Uh, peace and serenity getting to a place of calmness and still before mentally taking the action of the seven of swords and planning things out uh, or uh, revising things so it's it's the calm it's the peace where you can think clearly where there is peace you could also be moving or traveling okay Let's see. king of air Ooh, king of fire crosses it two kings here some of you are dealing with, uh, of course, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. They may have, this may be one person, or it could be two. Um, they're dynamic, especially if these are men. They could be women, but coming up in, uh, you know, the king energy, the go-getter, the entrepreneur, the mover and the shaker, knows everyone, is charismatic, is outgoing is funny, is uh, charming, um, is a thinker, is logical, is rational, makes solid, sound, just, and fair decisions, is very systematic, uh, can be 10 to 20 steps ahead of you mentally, uh, also can be very uh, attractive because they're meticulous. Sometimes that can, you know, that attracts people. Uh, this is the energy moving everything the moon the unknown um the unknown the the, the need for light to be shed here the might be some secrets might be some lies half truths just a holding back of spirit also could be working for you in the midst of um trying to create divine timing for a situation to unfold in the past we had the ten of air so we had an ending that was um sacrificial that was someone feeling back into a corner backstabbed lost at a loss but but also releasing and going in maybe to the six of air the six of sword type of energy uh this is you right where you are towards the nine of water nice uh nine of cups getting exactly what you've wished for and or manifest uh through prayers through affirmation through spirit helping you with maybe closing one door getting to a place where abundance uh emotional contentment fulfillment um the lord of harvest can actually work here for you moving forward the ace of air in the near future nice a new victorious start by way of clearing the air of communication coming in a cutting away of a decision or an incision or uh being divisive and decisive you know but at the same time a cutting away of um, by way of words communication but it's victorious for you your power is the three of water to have reconciliation to celebrate to offer emotional contentment in the midst of or have that in the midst of friendship family in reconciliation external to you or what's in your environment it's a five of earth this is lack lack of confidence lack of money lack of um, ingenuity lack of forward movement uh, lack of not seeing that things have to change at times but they also turn um, if you can shift your perspective 
it's just a card of lack and and with lack you feel left out and you feel fear okay so that is external to you it's in your environment this could be you this could be someone around you capricorn virgo Taurus. hopes and fears the four of water definitely a fear you know i mean no one wants to be at the four of water um too bogged down maybe in not seeing what things really mean uh, for you or what they could be um, lack of emotional contentment uh, being just outright bored with the situation if you're dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio maybe this could be this person if not it's just a situation of uh, something being offered but but one person can't see the forest for the trees or that it's just outright discontentment and, and sometimes that happens in life the outcome is the queen of water getting to a place where love can flow freely receiving and giving love freely being open to relationship hmm. being open to partnership being at one with yourself so that you can have true emotional contentment with another what is this point of water nine of pentacles yeah this is all about you nine of pentacles just getting your emotions balanced uh, some of you have been through the ringer with a person and out you were attached to an outcome it didn't turn out in your favor you got to a place where you try you, you, you trying to, to do the healing process within yourself um it looks like you are no longer going to take something that just doesn't fulfill you it is it's lack of contentment i'm going to flip these over but i don't think i'm going to take them two of two of cups in reverse six of cups in reverse somebody's at a place where um they don't see eye to eye with maybe who they may have deemed as a soulmate it used to be a relationship that was harmonious and um there was balance there it was successful now it's a situation where they can only think of or they only have emotion or negative emotion in regards to the, the thought of this very relationship they only think about how hurt they were in dealing with maybe a king of air, king of fire. This person may have had you in a third party situation. Okay. Come on. What is the nine of water? Water. We have ten of swords again. Wow, on the nine of water. deck some of you could have been dealing with a uh, fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo could be a Leo in particular if not you're dealing with a person who um, was either a serial cheater keeping options open um, they made promises just to break them all uh, they want a second chance you're doing nothing in regards to really having a second chance with them they may be trying hard to manifest this second chance after this ending after the betrayal after the hurt 
um this is how you look at the relationship like this just is like we might have had good times, but hell, I can't even remember them because the bad times were so bad and mind-boggling. And just my emotions were all over the place to the point where the outcome now is you trying to get to a place where you can open up emotionally. Be ready for emotion, the giving and the receiving of love. You're ready in the, in the sense of you know, we're, we're going to talk about uh, the financial and the, the stability of, but this person may have had in a third party situation. Okay, let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here. And then let's close it out. I just saw forgiveness. Okay, yeah, this person might want forgiveness. They may even render um, an apology, but at the same time, I don't, I don't, there, there's no offer associated with them. You know, it's just more so, um, hey, I miss you. Come look at me. You know, I don't know. Maybe it'll turn out well for you. It just doesn't look like it. There are no offers in this reading. Zero. Family changes. Courage. Welcome the new windfall. Nice. Bottom of the deck, grief work. Yeah, you got to do that work. Someone hurt you really badly. Or you hurt someone else really badly. It just says that you just guys, you guys are at a place where you're just trying to really get over that. You're really trying to focus on self. You do not want to be... You're not taken to anything that just doesn't fulfill you on an emotional level. Discontentment, um, where there's a dividing of emotion amongst the, the masses. You don't want that anymore. Family changes, someone moving in or out of the home. There is movement here. Um, exiting the home, entering the home, new home, uh, buying a dog, adopting a baby. I mean, it's just so many things. That really institute family changes. Uh, courage. Please have the courage to stand up for yourself. And what you want. Um, don't be bogged down in fear. And or lack. Move forward. Know that there is newness here for you. Once you get to a place of actually receiving it. Windfall of money or good luck. Um, windfall is a, is a beautiful card to have. Some of you are grief counselors. Or you do some type of... Um, social service work um and then some of you just really need to express write out sit with your feelings about um a more recent or or you you know past situation that really puts you in a state of grief okay uh so i hope that this message resonated with you um, you can request a personal reading with me below. Uh, the link to the website is there. Everything you need to know is below. Um, phone readings, video recorded readings, uh, reoccurring readings, audio readings, uh, by minutes with me, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can call me at the number listed below after you purchase minutes at my website. I pick up the phone and we talk about what you want to talk about. Um, know that I'm praying for you, Taurus. Uh, pray for me as well. Take care, guys. Bye.